Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel! Today I have my tattoo artist and friend, Fia, with me. Fia Candyfuss. Hi! Candyfuss Tattoo on Instagram. I'll pop her Instagram and Facebook up somewhere here, and links down below in the description box. But we are making her a natural beauty makeup look today. Use the Kevin D shade of light eyeshadow palette. So that's gonna be quite good. But we're just starting the skin, so yeah, let's get started. Starting off with the next professional makeup HD Studio Photogenic Face Primer, and we're just putting that all over the face. And we already moisturized her face before we started, so make sure to do that. I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Foundation Hybrid Complexion Perfector actually with SPF 20 because we're in Spain right now. So we need to be protected from the sun. Hmm. I'm taking my Real Technique, the new yeah, Birdie Brush. The glitter brush is so pretty! And then we're taking our Hourglass Foundation Stick in the shade Blank. It's one of the lightest shades. It's not the lightest, but one of them. As we pair last bit, just so we need some highlight on the face. And Fia has actually been the one who have been tattooing me for the last five years, except except in one really ugly unicorn tattoo, and but she covered that up. I fixed it. <laughs> yes, she did. How long have you been tattooing me? Haven't been tattooing for long. I mean, for some people it might seem very long to do the same job, but I've been tattooing for, I think, six and a half years now, so we started out when I was pretty new, still. But she was quite good already back then. Oh, thank you. You were. <laughs> That's why I stuck to you. And I to tune a lot of my friends too, and everything is just good. Yeah, it's good for business. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Then we're just setting the face with our RCMA own color powder, and we are just putting that in a small lid. And I'm gonna take my Royal and Langley Promoter Powder BMD 100, 100 brush. And we are just <sighs> I feel so fat right now. <laughs> my stomach is full. It's not that long ago we ate breakfast and I ate just a bit too much, to be quite honest. And yeah, that's my own fault. <laughs> now we're going in with our Young Blood Cosmetics Mineral Rice Setting Powder in the shade Light. And for that, I'm taking my Kat Von D 25 brush. And this can get quite messy, but we're trying not to. Otherwise, it's just powder, you can always brush it off. Then I'm taking my Essence Luminous Matte Bronzing Powder. I'm going in with the Kat Von D 20 brush, which is perfect for contour and bronzing up the face. Make sure to get all the way up to all the hairlines and just a bit above that. Then I'm taking my Milani Powder Brush in the shade 11 Blossom Time Rose. Yes, that's a pretty name, and a pretty as blush as well. Now we're going in with our Royal and Langley Promoter Buffer BMD 180 brush. And we're just 
putting that in the apples of the cheek, the cheeks of the yeah, apple of the cheeks. Let's put that on the apple cheek. Because he has such cute small cheeks, it's quite amazing. It's adorable. That's what it is. That is exactly what it is. Now we're taking the powder weight on the forehead and mix them all together. But we're leaving those on we're leaving the powder under the eye. Just because we're going to the eyeshadows now. And for that, I'm quickly just sending you guys in, so hang on. Now we're taking our next professional makeup HD eyeshadow base. I'm just putting that on the eyelids. There we go. And I'm just taking a flat brush and we're just blending that out. <sighs> I'm a horse right now. It's okay. Oh, okay. That's a Danish word. If you want to say horse, what do the horses say? <laughs> we're going in with the first shade, we're going in with the shade up there. And that's a shade called Lazarus. That's a quite a funny name. Lazarus. Lazarus, okay. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> and we're just going that. No, we're not taking that. We're actually taking the yellow shade first, the Lutvin. Lutvin? Hmm? Oh yeah, maybe. Lot of in We don't know. The shape right there. And we're just setting the <laughs> eyeshadow base first. <sighs> don't know why our breathing is so heavy. Okay. Because I'm so hot. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. And then what was the name? Lazarus? Lazarus. Lazarus. Taking the shape Lazarus right there. The same brush, and that's the Moda M16 brush. And we're just defining the crease with that. Because we are going natural. And Fia has really sensitive eyes, so if you put too much on the lower lash part, she will cry. So we are trying to not do that at all today. But that's that you can always do if you want to. It's just for you who's difficult to work with. I know, I'm a big crybaby. Yeah. Don't look like it, but <laughs> I know. you are. Surprise. Never judge your book by its cover. And now everyone else is back home. Already, so we're not alone anymore. So if you hear any noises, it's our friends coming back for shopping. So, um, hmm, hmm, hmm. How much more should we do before going to dark? Um, we think well, I think we should go in with with the shade Latinus. Latinus. Is that spelled? Latinus. Latinus. Yeah, Latinus. I'm gonna have her with me because otherwise I wouldn't pronounce all the words, Kat Wendy. You should make them more easy for the rest of the world to understand and read. Maybe it's just you. <laughs> Maybe it is, but at least I'm pretty. True. Very true. Yeah, and dogs home too as well. I'm going in with the shade Solas. No, no, that's not the wrong shade. <laughs> Lucius, the red brown shade there. I'm quite sure I said that the right way. Lucius. Lucius. So I'm just going to take a powder brush, a little powder brush. I'm buffing everything away. And then we'll be right back, guys. When everyone has left the house again. There we go. See you in a minute! Or 10 hours, who knows? <laughs> okay, so we're finally back. It took like an hour. 
Too long. Too long, but, <laughs> but we're back. And we are just, yeah, starting from where we left off. I am quickly taking my Morphe MB23 brush and I am digging into this, sh oh, what's the name? Ludwin, the shape right there. And we are just putting that on top just to blend out and lighten up the shadow up there. So we're going back in with the shade Lazarus. Yes. I said it right. Yes. We're going to take the old uh, brush from Laura, M16 brush, and we are just dapping that around and a bit out in the corners. And we're going back in with the Morphe MB23 brush, and we are just. Buffing it out. There we go. Yes. I'm taking my BS Cosmetics Rose Quartz Collection 8 brush. And we are taking hmm, we are taking the shade Samuel. Yes. S-A-M-A-E-L. A funny name, but that's what we're taking. It's a metallic shade. And I think I'm actually kind of already know I want to wet the brush. I'm going with my Nature Face Makeup First Base Primer Spray, and we're just wetting the brush. Going to go in again, and then we're just putting that in the center of the lid, just to give it a small highlight. Then I'm taking my BH Cosmetics Polka Dot Collection. Don't know what the name of the collection on this one, but it's a brush number. And there's no number on it, but it's this small flat brush going with the same shade. And we are just putting that in the inner tear duct section. And we are just lightening up and opening up the eye. And it does have a bit of fallout this palette, I will not lie to you guys. And the brown shades weren't my favorite, but it does work. And it is quite beautiful. There we go, and then I think I want to Yes, I'm going in with my Morphe MB19 brush, if you're looking up, baby girl. Then I'm going back in with the grey shade, I don't want to pronounce it again. But Lazarus. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And open your eyes, we're just putting that on the lower lash line. Not too much, just a bit, because she might want to cry this off later. And then we're done with that palette, for today at least. And then we're going in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And if you're just looking down, we're making a fat ass beautiful long cat eye. Baby girl, it's okay, I'm not hurting you. Are sure? At least on purpose. <laughs> That's just, my job. Yeah. I'm just going with the same, the metallic shade again. I'm just putting that on top. But I should have known. I shouldn't have put anything on the lower lash line. But I did. Because I couldn't help myself. Oh girl, you look sack, sack. Work! Okay. And now I will just let her curl her own lashes. Perfect. And then she's get the opportunity to do mascara. For that, we're using the Urban Decay Progression Mascara. 
so and just the upper lashes because we don't want no black lower lash when she's crying that much. It's kind of weird when you're a tattoo artist and you're a crybaby. <laughs> Um, and before going to put on lashes, we're going in with highlighter just so the mascara dry a bit more. And yes, I forgot my highlighter brush, I see that now. And we're just taking another brush and we're going in with our BF Cosmetic 101 brush. The, yeah, black collection, I don't know. <laughs> and we're taking the Urban Decay Crystal Leanne Beauty Beam Highlighter. We're going with the two light shades, the light and the medium shade. And we're just putting that on to make her glow up in the night. And look at these beautiful lips. Oh, the chin as well. Now we're going in with the Dove Lashes One Year Celebration in the shade, uh, not in the shade, but in the style Gold Digger. Yes, it should match her. It's not Gold Digger, but she could be if you want to. Because she's that beautiful. And using my Art Gel Last Grip Eyelash Adhesive in White Less Clear. It dries beautifully down. Do it a little semi dry. Let's pull you away. Goodbye. <laughs> it's alive. It's alive. Just letting that dry, and then I think we should do some brows. Yes. And I'm just quickly buffing off any excess off in the brows. I need those. I don't have any. So. Yeah. You have them. That's quite full and quite beautiful, but they're just really, really pale and Very blonde nice. and red hat. So, but we're going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wish in the shade Taupe, and we are just covering up those beautiful brows and making them visible for the rest of the world. to come in and join us so I'll just let him in and this is our little dog friend mm -hmm. yeah our little black beauty yes almost 11 years old what an old friend mm -hmm. yeah just putting him down again oh. <laughs> he's quite heavy <laughs> and I'm getting quite shiny because it's quite hot down here it is yes but your brows are looking perfect girl <laughs> So before we go into anything, before we go into the lips, we're just setting the face and melting it all together with the Up Decay All Matter Setting Spray. And the more is better here. I don't want to blow anymore. Well, I am, I am dry. Perfect. <laughs> you don't want to blow me anymore? No. <laughs> I'm not into blowing girls, only boys. Oh, you guys are there, you know who you are. <laughs> just going with more highlighter. Actually, just, I'm kind of trying to fix it on the light shade only. I'm going with our Milani Cosmetics Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade 10 Adorable. Just like her. And we are just going. So I'm just quickly going in with my hourglass lip gloss. I'm just putting that in the center of the lips because she had quite dry lips. And we don't want them to dry completely out with a matte lip cream. Let's just have a look. Take a look at yourself. Oh, I love it. She is adorable. So guys, that was it for today. 
I hope you enjoyed this natural, beautiful cat eye makeup look. I know I did. Yeah, you can enjoy the rest of the day. And if you did like it, then don't forget, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well. And yeah, don't forget to comment down below as well. And let me know what you think about the look. What you think about her and me. And if she should come on my channel more often, you decide. And don't forget to yeah, look at her Instagram page and her Facebook, link down below. And otherwise, have a amazing day guys and can't wait to see you next time. Bye! Bye!